third developer so in this part of angular e-commerce project we will make auto suggestion search in our project and i am very sure that you have seen in seen that in many websites uh, how it's work let me just uh, tell you so whenever we are just typing something in our search box that time uh, some related keywords are uh, populated just below to that uh, search box and we call it automatic search or uh, auto suggestion search right so what we need to do for that uh, these are the points first of all we need to make a service function to call api after that we will get this data in component and uh, uh, we will call this api whenever we are just start typing something here right and after that with the help of html and css we will make a uh, auto suggestion uh, search box and at last we will test that everything is working fine or not so now the next question is what api we will use here so this is a list of our product so we are not going to show this all complete list. So there is a, uh, as you know that this is a JSON server and it provides lots of automatic uh, APIs. So whenever you just put there uh, question mark Q and any keyword, let's say just black, then it will just give the result of black. And keep in mind it will suggest, it will search in all fields. Like uh, now this is searching black keyword in color. Like after that, if I'm just putting there mobile, even MOB or mobile, then it will just find it in the categories and if I'm just putting there Samsung then you can see that this is searching that Samsung keyword in name so this is the API that that we want to use there so now let's open our uh, product.service.ts file and create one more function there so let's say my function name is search product and uh, uh, we can just return there uh, return this dot http dot get and uh, the api response will be the type of uh, product uh, array and uh, now we can just pa put the path of our api and you know that that uh, keyword that we are passing in the queue should be dynamic so we will get it as a query and the type of query will be string and uh, now let's simply put there dollar query all right and uh, the next thing that we need to do we have to just uh, call a function on the key press or key up uh, in the text box so for that i am just jumping on uh, header.component.html file and uh, let me just find out that text box now uh, what I'm going to do I'm just putting there key up and my search function name will be search product and there we can pass simply dollar event now let's uh, define this function in our uh, header.component.ts file and right and again we have to just get this data there so what i'm just going to put the name of parameter which is query and the query can be type of uh, uh, mm, keyboard event all right and after that we will check that if we uh, query is not undefined or neither null then we can take const element and uh, now we can just convert this uh, query dot uh, target as uh, uh, html input element all right and uh, now let's check what we are getting in element even we will get there a complete html text box so uh, if you want to just get value then put there element dot value and now let's see we are getting a correct result or not and if I'm just putting there let's say mobile you can see that we are getting mobile all right that's fine okay so next thing that we need to do here let's pass this element value in our service function so that for that we have to just uh, instant create the instance of that service so let me just use there one more private 
select uh, property in constructor private product and product service and after that we can use this product service there so let me simply use this dot product dot search product element dot value and as we know it, it will return something in subscriber uh, something means callback function so we can say that we are getting the result so if you want to check the result then uh, we can just see that uh, so let's say i am just putting there mobile then on on m it will give the seven result on m o p and m o and it will just give a two result for example let's say i'm just putting here uh, black then it will give the four result for black because in four product we have black color right so this is working fine so now we have to use this data and uh, create the uh, auto suggestion list there so for that first of all i need to uh, but we can see that uh, create a property with this dot not this dot there uh, search result and it could be undefined by default and uh, after that uh, data could be type of product and you know that we are using this product type from data type right and after that let's simply just pass this uh, result to this dot search result equal to result right and now we can use this uh, result on a header but uh, we need to create a list also there so let me just create a ul li and with li what we can do there we can simply use ng Four that will be star ng four, and uh, after that we can see that let item of product search right, and uh, let me create a anchor tag also there. We don't need this href, but we just need anchor tag for a moment. After that we'll use their uh, router link and uh, let's put their item dot name all right so now let's see uh, what we are getting there so if i'm just start typing something here let's say just start typing here mobile then you can see that the loads of result are there and um, ob we have two results but even they are not properly aligned so we have to make them align first and uh, for that uh, what we need to do there we can just fix this ul there so let me put there a uh, position absolute top 40 pixel for that z index uh, 100 pixel or 10 pixel whatever you want 10 is i think fine for that uh, display list items and uh, border 1 pixel solid ddd background color we can see that uh, triple f this is white and uh, width we can see that uh, 300 pixel right i think it will work for a moment i am just making just copy of it and putting in the uh, you can see that uh, css file right so I'm, I will just take a class uh, and let's say class name is dot uh, uh, just did search we can use this class on uh, mm -mm, there now let's try to search again so if I'm just putting there okay but this is still not working proper actually yeah the problem is there because i think we have to just use their import important then it will work fine right because some 
CSS is actually overriding it. So got get back there and let's simply put there import and uh, the next thing we just need to fix their uh, li also and uh, padding could be let's say five pixel a margin we don't need for a moment and uh, border one pixel solid and ddd and uh, the last one is we can use their auto suggestion li and a there we can see that cursor is pointer and uh, color is our default color which is blue wallet now i think search should work fine except some cases so if i am uh, let's say searching their mobile then this is working much fine uh, if I'm just searching with the black color, then this is still working great. If I'm just searching with the laptop, then this is showing laptop also, right? But the next thing is, uh, let's say you just want to show only five results. You don't want to show more than five because there could be lots of results, right? Uh, so uh, in a backend, maybe we will apply just some other logic, but uh, we don't have backend for a moment. So what we can just do our uh, best as possible which is just fix the length of that that search result right so let's say if result dot length is greater than 5 then we can say that result dot length equal to length and now you will find that we have just only uh, 5 result maximum so let's say I'm just putting here uh, two result with mobile and uh, let's say I'm putting there black there is only four results and after that even uh, just removing the old things we have only uh, uh, four results and we have only five result two three four five that's all after that we don't have any result on that okay great so the next thing uh, let's say uh, we just on the click outside we want to close this search then how we can do that for that just go to the header dot component dot html and uh, let's create one more event which is blur on blur i just want to uh, you can see that any a function with the name of hide search right and we can create this search function inside our uh, component file and uh, let me just uh, declare this function and after that once we will call it let's uh, put there this dot search result equal to undefined and we need to make one more condition also there so if we have undefined search result on ul then we should not display it star ng four and not ng four actually ng if and now I think it should work or if I'm just putting there a uh, mobile we have two result I'm clicking on the outside this is completely close and uh, if I'm just putting there uh, let's say black color then still five result outside there is a no result so that's all for this part guys and in next part we will learn more thing about that project and please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and uh, you can share your feedback in comment box also thank you guys